truly is a great morning and that the Lord has really been faithful to all of us. It has been a month since the great uh, convocation that we had had. And I like what the gospel is a reminder to us of truly the light that God has placed in us is really called to shine. Jesus said here, you are the light of the world. As we go forth in where God uh, sends us to, whether it's our workplaces, whether it's our schools, wherever God sends us, we are called to be the light. And I, I just want to serve as a reminder to the faithful, especially in Cathedral of the King, to really let your light shine. Your moment to shine is now. It's not tomorrow. It's not 10 years from now, but it's now. A daily uh, reminder to us as His mercies are new every morning, God calls us to shine. And if there is a hashtag phrase I'd like to leave with each and every one of us, now is the time to shine. Christ has given us all that He has given His life to us. And now it's a time to shine. Yes, even in times of darkness, more so. You know, not everything we go through in life is always nice. You know, we, we go through challenges. We go through uh, a lot of uh, issues, um, health issues, uh, mental issues, social issues. And with our job and uh, the things in uh, the, the requirements of home, but even in the midst of tribulation and in the midst of all of these, God is calling us to shine. Just as a, as, as a diamond becomes so brilliant and so costly and expensive, it, ha, it goes through a lot of pressure. It goes through a lot of uh, heat in order to really shine. The good news here. Brothers and sisters, we are called to shine. This is your time to shine. As we go forth, God will make us shine. In the, th in the, the people that we encounter daily, every day is an opportunity to let that light in us truly be seen by others. I mean, it, what, it's not a track. It's not, you know, witnessing is not just passing a track or anything like that. The strongest witness that we can ever give to the people around us is our life. That serves as an encouragement to the people around us that really God is our hope. God is our provider. God is our, is our shield, our protector. Yes, there are, you know, we go through things. As I said a while ago, may mga pagsubok, hindi nawawala yan. But God gives us the light. Let me give you a scripture. You know, it's, uh, the, the, in 1 Corinthians, our reading today, you know, it says that, for all things belong to you, uh, uh, chapter 3, verse, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21, for all things belong to you, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or, or the world, or life, or death, or things present, or things to come. All things belong to you because you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. Now, this is not just talking about material things. It's actually far from that. It really tells us that it's our, uh, you know, it's our place to see that Christ is always with us. And since He is the light, we are now the light. We are the light. We belong to wherever we are. Let me repeat that. We, are, we belong to wherever we are, not where God has placed us. We belong to that moment, and we have to seize that moment and allow the light of God to shine through our lives. Yes, you know, frail as human as we are, we make mistakes. We have our setbacks, we have our shortcomings. But praise God for the good news, this grace is greater than anything that of our shortcomings 
or even our sin. He can cause that light in us to shine so that people will be encouraged. I'd like to give a scripture, a very, very familiar scripture in uh, Psalm 37. Psalm 37. It says here, Do not fret because of evildoers. I'm reading from the King James. Do not be envious of workers of iniquity, for they will soon be cut down like grass and wither as green herb. Verse 3, trust in the Lord and do good. How do you make your light shine? Do good. Dwell in the land, wherever, I said a while ago, where you are, you belong there. Because God has placed you there at that moment in time. It may not be a permanent situation, but at that moment in time, God placed you there. Dwell in the land and feed on His faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord and trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Verse 6 is what I'd like to zero in. He shall bring forth your righteousness as light and your justice as the new day. Ang ganda ng verse 7. Rest in the Lord. There is rest in God. You know, it's not rest yung hukay, no? It's rest that gives us a, 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 a assurance that He is with us. And I just allow, we, kasi hindi mo naman pwede ipilit na, oh, kailangan maging light ako, kailangan sumindi ako, kailangan mag, magliwanag ako. It's just as we trust God, as we allow His Word to work through us, He will make us light. At mapapansin nyo, hindi, hindi, natin, hindi natin kahit pilitin, but because we just walk with Christ, we walk with His Word, makikita ng mga tao yan eh. It will serve as good news to them. And we can truly be the light that God calls us to be. Brothers and sisters, we are called to go forth. Wherever He uh, uh, brings us, where He guides, He provides. Provides us with everything that we need at that moment in time. All we need to do is trust in Him. Lord, and I, I, I pray this, Lord, tulungan niyo akong magtiwala more. Yes, He will teach us, he will, he will guide us. He is faithful. He is faithful. As His faithfulness and His mercy is new every morning. He is with us. So, Cathedral of the King, and to the faithful of Christ, you are called to shine. Shine. Every moment of our lives, we are called to shine. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.